start with our offensive rookie midseason award goes to drum roll <laughs> mikey um it's offense shakir offense oh, shakir. Right. <laughs> it's no by no surprise by anyone i mean there's, there's two there's okay. two offensive <laughs> of players right really there's two offensive players there's that's, cook and there's shakir shakir's look the best he's he's our starting punt returner which he's fa- uh, been fantastic at and he's made some plays in the couple games that he's that he's been active for which i'm excited to see i think you'll see the best of shakir moving forward i do too i i totally agree with you um especially um the way mckenzie's been playing it's oh. i think i think they expected more because of the and once again, I'll go back to this statement. I, I constantly say, don't always get into the hype of many of camp. And I, I listen, I do too. I, I am guilty a little bit of that, mm-hmm. but all the hype going with, Oh, McKenzie's making these great. He's looking the well, best in camp. McKenzie's and then the preseason time. No, I get it. But he won the job initially yeah. from right. He beat Crowder yeah. out because Crowder was hurt initially. And then Crowder came yeah. back. And by then, McKenzie was on such a roll in camp, they were saying, that there was no way Crowder was getting that 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 job back. Uh, and then preseason, I thought he looked okay, right? He didn't really play much, and nobody really did. And then regular season came, and it's kind of like, I almost feel like this, Mikey. And it, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I am. But I kind of feel like they wanted him to be the slot. So they kind of took away the jet sweeps and the gadget stuff mm-hmm. him, because they wanted to concentrate on just him being a receiver, like a natural slot receiver. And I kind of think it took away from him what he's really – what what makes him good and special for this team. Mm-hmm. And I kind of feel like moving forward, I'm hoping that they put Khalil Shakir there and they make go back to McKenzie and what he does best. And that's the gadget type of receiver, right? That's how I see him. And I don't like, and I don't like when people are like, "Oh, he sucks," because he, suck. he doesn't suck. I, he brings something to this team. And and listen, me and Mikey would scream his name last season, and even earlier this season. Why aren't mm-hmm. they doing jet sweeps with McKenzie? Why isn't McKenzie getting involved? Why isn't he doing this? Where's the Where's the motion? Where's, where's the, the motion? Yeah. Right. Why? Because McKenzie gets defenses on their heel, where they have to they have to be honest with them, right? Because he he has the speed. He could take off like. He is deadly when he gets the ball. I will, I'll tell yeah. you that. Um, he's picking up positive yards most of the time on those jet sweeps. Or He also doesn't have to whatever. catch it if you hand it to him. Exactly. Exactly. So I like him in that role. I don't know if I, I don't really like him in the slot role. So I, I'm hoping Ken Dorsey, Sean McDermott kind of see that and start trusting more in Khalil Shakir because Khalil Shakir – uh, and, the, and the reason why, we're, or at least for me, that we made him offensive rookie up to this point for our team is because he's he's really, he, since day one, he's kind of came in and he you could see like he's been there, done that. Even mm-hmm. though he's a rookie, he, he just it seems like the game isn't really fast for him, right? Yeah. The game's already slowed down for him. He's not making like those typical mistakes that rookies do early in their career. And the, even the way he had talks to the media – he just he, he's very like humble, right? Like just yeah. uh, hey, I'm out there and make it and I love that about him. I do. That's his personality. You know who's like that too? Gabe Davis, a little bit. Yeah. When he talks in the media. He's very kind of humble guy. Now on the field, he's a little bit showmanship. You know, score a touchdown, do the do the swag walk or whatever, which is cool. I like that. But but I don't I I think Khalil Shakir is just like he's out here to play football, he's taking his you know what I mean? Like that's just his thing, man. And he and he's confident. And I think I think with Cook, he'll get there, but it's not there yet, and that's the reason why I couldn't put Cook. You know what I mean? I, yeah, no, I, I'm with you. Cook hasn't hasn't shown much. He's he's been more of the more of the um, you know late down back or blowout back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Shakir could, uh, Mike coming in. Shakir could play opposite Davis and Diggs in the slot a few years. Um, yeah, he's gonna have. Yeah, I, dude, I, I'm telling you. I've been screaming his guy's name since we drafted him. Um, what's up, man? Appreciate you coming on, bud. Um, I've been screaming Shakir's name for a minute, and me and you have too. And mm-hmm. I, we understood week one. I, I got that big game. Yeah. You're going against the Rams. Good defense. Maybe the coaches were like, hey, let's go with the vet. Which, I listen, to Crowder's defense too. I, I thought Crowder 
uh, played good in some games. I do. I thought, I thought he was, uh, you know, he came up big on some and his some limited catches. opportunities and his limited opportunities. Yeah. He, there's nothing wrong with Crowder, but yeah. he got hurt. And the next man up is Shakir and Shakir came in, like I said, and handled business. And I think now the coaches now learn that the kid, uh, like I said, he, he, he's out there like a vet almost. And I think they, I think Josh believes in him. If he didn't, he went to pass to him. I mean, honestly, like some of those plays in that Ravens game, I mean, I keep going back to that game. That was a huge, that was a tight game, man. And to have your faith in a rookie that you barely played with, that you didn't even play right. with in preseason, to get in there and 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 make two huge plays for the Buffalo Bills and then come back the following week and have a good game again uh speaks volume to where this kid's headed. 100 percent And and I think I think Ken Dorsey will get him more involved as the season goes. Could be wrong, but that's how I see it. Right, Mikey? Yeah, no, I'm with you on that.